Show me blood. Like, if you get oh, to we're playing this game, and then I just sort of <laughs> held. You, you just held it. Like, in the year 2008, Dr. Light made created Mega Man, and we're just gonna skip that. Uh, Difficult! Yeah, 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 the seventh day, he rested. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, welcome to Mega Man. Password. What? Password. I'm, I'm Lennon, this, uh, is, this is this is Lennon Atom, we're doing a show, this is a show we're doing. Uh, well, By the way, just in case anybody didn't realise when they clicked on a video that this is what the, the premise was that people play video games on the internet for entertainment purposes. Oh, you only have a limited number of things? Oh wait, shit, what the fuck is- do we need the- do we need to use an instruction manual? No, I was trying to just draw a penis at the password screen. <laughs> <laughs> no one can beat Airman. There was an entire song about it, and I'm gonna beat him today. What's up with the deal with this guy and his, <laughs> and his face and, and his cloud head? Explain to me the premise what, of what, Mega Man. It's really Someone slow. Who's seen Wait, the legend, listen. Yeah, you know, you know what that is? What? That's the sound of the inferior PAL version of this game and oh. how we live in a shitty world. Stupid fucking fuck. Monkeys, what the stupid. fuck? <laughs> I, I waited and then it just. Okay, take three. Uh, so Mega Man is Astro Boy, basically, but with two beady men. Wait, what, so I can wasn't, wasn't I can respect Astro Boy that. based on Scrooge McDuck? What? No, Astro Boy is from like the '60s. Scrooge McDuck is from like, like Mickey Mouse. Like most, mo like the main anime style was was you know, inspired by Scrooge McDuck. No, that's not true. The no, main no, the main anime style. Like the grand no, Akira no, Toriyama no. was like DuckTales is a huge no, inspiration. Tezu no, Tezuka is the guy who invented Astro Boy and pioneered. Tezuka, my bad, my bad. And pioneered the anime thing, and he was based based on like Steamboat oh, Willie and like early. Scrooge McDuck is from DuckTales! DuckTales is from fucking, like, the late 80s as a TV show! <laughs> fucking check your anime privilege bullshit! Okay. Yeah, but you feel pretty- I watch the Astro Boy movie, they made a CG one. I'm being no, loud and abrasive. abrasive, I'm sorry, I don't want to be abrasive. I'm sorry, I'll be nice. I, I, I realize I'm just being some arsehole who's yelling, and I was like, I don't want, I don't want to be that guy. Dude, so that, that's fine, you're watching me- yeah, this is a very slow Mega Man game right now. <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, it's like it's, oh, it's like shit. It's like it's like a. It's like a, it's like a wait, let, let me get. Let me, wait, let me wait, get. Linda's playing. Linda's playing. Wow, Linda, you're doing great. <laughs> Fuck you! Come on, me at every turn. <laughs> hey Matt, did you did you agree to uh, the uh, the the did you agree to a social contract? Con did you agree to a social contract when you were born? Uh, if so, you might be living in society. Oh shit! Tell I me more. I was, I, for a moment, I thought you were going to say I was like, going to be entitled to compensation. No, no, no. I mean, society, society doesn't compensate you, but there are benefits of living in society. Number one, if you capture card. Number two, I'll got your mainframe. I'll got your wizard. I'll got your wizard setup, boys. <laughs> no, number three. <laughs> I'll, a distinct lack of barbarism. That's true. I mean, we don't have- we have barbers, but not barbarians. That's true. I mean, I mean we should probably have more barbarians, let's be real. Barbarians yeah, are I mean, barbarians awesome. are actually a pretty good class in D&D. They're, they're, they're like the only class with a D12 hit die. That's fucking crazy. Did you ever see the game Barbarian on, like, Sinclair Spectrum? No, but I've heard of Conan the Barbarian. No, but there's a game called Barbarian, and it's got this manly man on the front cover with some greasy pectoral muscles. And I was oh, like, hell yeah. It's pretty great. Yeah, I was like, what's, what's up with this game? It's pretty cool. Dude. And that's not all I got. It's all I got about barbarians. But societal constructs, though, and societal contracts are implicit. We never sign a, 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 a contract when we're born that states, I shall obey the laws of this society and. B by living in it, we sort of have to. It's implicit, and we're not given a choice to live. When we're infants, we are not given a choice. So, mm. it's kind of a moral dilemma, but also there are benefits to saying yes to societal contracts. For example, talk to men on the internet. Mega Man two. <laughs> Mega Man three. Me Mega Man X. <laughs> no. The Astro Boy two thousand ICG movie. <laughs> should we should we move out of the realm of uh, existential like like philanderizing? 
Flanderization? Philanderizing. Think of three words that don't begin with an F. Philan- SHIT! NOT THE BEES! Mega Man's really nice, let's be real. Mega Man's great. Yeah, Mega Man's- I think Mega Man is a pretty cool guy. He shoot robot and doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what's going Am I going into space? Am I going to crash into space? <gasps> crash? You mean that one man with boys in that crap? Looks like Crash and the boys had a hot Asshole! <laughs> ah, shit! The Let's bees! Go pilgrim. The bees! Uh, uh, bees, bees! They're not bees, they're little fluffy cheep cheeps. You see the little it, cheeps, the it, cheep it, cheeps. If it's just a little fluffy, you're, you might as well be a bee. Bees are fluffy. Bees are assholes. Bees are amazing. I love. I do bees, bees are actually. I totally stroke needed. bees. I stroke bees. I'm Linda Davis. Boy bee stroker extraordinary. Do I look like a scientist? <laughs> do I look like Dr. Light or Dr. Wiley? You look like a mad scientist in some ways, in the best ways. Oh, that's really nice of you. You're, you're on the wrong side. I, I'm no, I'm just these fucking bees. Okay, you suck. Okay. Why did I even throw the controller? You're worse than Yeah, this you game. threw away the controller. Exactly. Like... <laughs> Do you know about the Proto Men? Um, yeah, I, I'm aware of Proto Man. No, the Proto Men. Who, is the, who are the Proto Men? The Proto Men are an awesome, like, super 80s style, like, like a power rock band. Um, who all of their albums are a retelling of Mega Man. And it's wow. awesome. That's, it's so cool. That Pro is cool. It's like, like, so, it's so good. It's so, and they also didn't actually, one of their albums is just a cover of like loads of Queen songs, which is pretty cool. Um, but, but they retell like, they do like this revisionist take on like Dr. Wily's backstory and why he's the villain. And it's great. And it's meme Jonestown. And mm. yeah, yeah um, I bet I bet he's like hoarding patents or some shit. No, he, no, he has like he, he has like a Freudian excuse. He's like his like, love interest is dead, and and his dad was like working the mines, and he's like I just want to build robots to help people, and then it all went wrong. Like Doctor Octavius. Oh, I know, right? And then you suddenly look back and you're like that handsomely mustachioed man. He should be my one, my one true only. He is such a one. He is such a one. You use ones incorrectly. Can, 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 can we can we call our fans ones? Okay, so for, from the from the dic dictionary definition of, of ones, a one is is a a, a humorist. A, a hum it's a, so it's a humorous take on a thing. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like an observational tract, uh, like or like an, an angry sort of uh, like like it's a bit. But yeah. maybe we could be people, fans could be things we don't have any ones then. But we have quite, there are quite a few ones, but there are, maybe we call fans twos. Maybe we're getting ahead of each other. I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like we, should, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't name our ones without having any ones. I mean, yeah, that's, 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 that's how you get into linguistic issues. You know, if you come up with a word that doesn't actually have any sort of representative meaning, you're just creating a, like, a, like just, just, just nonsense. It's like, it's like you don't need a word unless it, there's, the word has to convey a meaning. If you're creating additional words that don't convey meanings, then you're entering into like a, an Orwellian nightmare scenario this guy's cool. Like, the only WiiWare game I ever owned, no, actually I owned two, and they were all from, like, Club Nintendo points and, like, scratching out the instruction <sighs> manual thing. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I remember <laughs> I remember begging my mother to buy me, uh, the M Mario vs. Donkey Kong with the... With a mini Mario boy! Buy them all! Buy them all! Buy them all! Because <laughs> I want this fucking more Nintendo points. <laughs> I didn't want, consider you the... Even want the game! <laughs> yeah, just want Nintendo... Those are all, like, in bad Thanks, now. Mom! <laughs> Fuck this! Is, is next it like time we're like, at it. It's like, we're not next time. No, we're playing some more stage. Wait. Dude, gotta do every boss. Boss. Oops. I don't wanna go back. I don't know how to go back. See, end of the video. We're not playing this game anymore. Menus are hard. And sleep. Oh, let's make some funny and relatable anecdotes while the end of this video winds down for approximately 20 seconds while we can promote a different video. Did you watch 360 Nerf Scope? That's my first solo video. I put a. Did you stop advertising our video! What? 